In the figure below, ray E to F, so that's the distance between E and F right here, was constructed by starting from rays E to D and E to G. So those are these two separate rays down below. By using a compass, D and G were marked equidistant from E. So D and G are equidistant from E. And what that means is that the length of these line segments has an equal distance. So they're the same length. That is between E and D has the same distance as the length between E and G up here. All right. So I drew them the same color to indicate they have the same length. And then we see a similar thing about uh, some other points. It says, uh, the compass was then used to locate a point F distinct from E so that F is equidistant from D and G. So let me draw that in here. The distance between F and G is the same as the distance between D and F. For all the constructions defined by the above steps, the measure of angle D to E to F, so D, E, F is right here, and G to E to F, G to E to F is right here, what is true about them? And the trick to this is to realize that we have two copies of the exact same triangle, and the only dis difference between them is that one is flipped upside down. So both of these triangles have a red side, and a blue side, and a green side, and the same colors all have the same uh, length, so they're the exact same triangle, just flipped upside down, and they're asking us about the angle between the red and the blue side. And of course, if we have the same triangle and all we've done is flipped it upside down, nothing will change about that angle, and so those two angles are F equal.